this ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel. Ugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Now <laughs> fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt Carrie picked this. Always ate out. Always. He sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for? actual necessity in this whole pad. All right. 
I'll give him that one. Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. This. Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for Kitch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. Okay. Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's this? Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave. It'd be that one. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. like that run us many eddies? Forget it. We couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. Lost everything. Who the fuck? Keep playing. All right. No. Uh, some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Mother... Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right, come on. Tell me, why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? As long as you tell me what you got in your throat. Always did complain I couldn't carry a tune. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society.
Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Live here all by your lonesome? Nah, I got my cook, Ariel, but he's off today. Miguel... What am I... Not your biz, Jill. Sit down. Start talking. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you just pop by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Stuff about you being depressed. You true? Nope. Promo strategy. Suicide attempts, too? Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me. Got no answer to that. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play and never had Ned do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what any saw in that guy. I mean, smart imp, that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would have had to get in line, that's why. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Good. Track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together, you know, jam or something. Best ISIS. Damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper of a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would've heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. A few calls and I should be able to track him down. Then he might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. In his spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just yes. said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this? Nah, we'll spare him. Hella boring story. Biochips. Arasaka's evil schemes. Magic pills. We'll just say you're my new output. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. <sighs> I'm not there. Figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Sure. Kid loves me. Yeah, I bet.
Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be very... Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Know when she'll be back? She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. I think we better head to the Taunton tent. Hey, Judy. How you feeling? Shitty, but something came to me. Gotta give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while, too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The Mox dive, Lizzie's bar used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. It belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. I'm sure you thought this through, Judy? Carefully? <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the Mox didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds? No, I'm trying to get you. I know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Michael Maeda? Who is she, exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it, too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. Evelyn, Michael, seem to know your way around clouds. I used to work there. Helped them out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Sure, Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? 
If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow zimmer and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Any chance she'll slap us around and then shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that? How well do you know this, Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before 8. I'll be by the entrance. Scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. V, you know wild screaming at Tone Tants isn't headline news. Could just be some screamo band set for her. all starting to come that together. That or something as shady. No more media sinister. would ever go for the Tone Tants. Except Nancy. Come on, up you go. Like your style. Minimalist. Used to have chrome just like that. Start moving, tense too. Fuck yeah. Five four. Hit, press the button. <laughs> My fingers are numb. Hear that? Tinnitus today. All right, guys. This one I like. Wait up. Go on. You'll blend in, no problem. Say what you want about the guy. At least Royce had some fucking charisma. And what did that do for us? You personally? Well, don't know. Let me tell you what I got from that psycho boss. Royce shot one of my knees out once. Personally. Fuck. No fucking way. Remember that tape from All Foods? That's the Rimbo who did Royce. No, 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 no. Wouldn't be that stupid to show up here. You the one? Looking for Bess Isis. Guess I gotta spell it out. You the one took out Royce? Yeah. What, anyone actually boo-hoo when he went? Uh, look at this. A chance at a nick in the barrel. Get the fuck out! Now! That's the all foods part. I'm not blind. What do you want? Watch out. Best Isis. Mean anything to you? You work with her? No, just gotta talk. Heard she's here. She's here, but you talk to Brick first. Let's call what happens to you. I'll take you. So Brick's in for Royce now. Yeah, heard what happened at All Foods. Probably thinking Brick will be grateful, huh? What, that'd disappoint you? No, and Brick's not in a position to demonstrate feelings of any kind. Yeah, if by alternative, you mean we don't give a fuck what people think. Okay, then let's say extreme music. What's that mean to you? Look, lady, you keep trying to slap a label on us. No, I'm trying to understand you. Chaos, uh, a wall of noise and distortion. It must all form some sort of system or style. Brick, got another guest. V, what a surprise. What can I do for you? That's Nant. Looks like I'm interrupting. Wrapping up, actually. Bessie has overstayed her welcome. Yet I still haven't gotten answers to all my questions. Make something up. You're a journalist. Should be second nature. 
Say, it's an orgy of noise or whatever. Carrie Uridine sent me, with some biz for Bess. Carrie? Did he suddenly remember I exist? You can go. Huh? Just like that? I ask you. No, that's what I thought. Trying to run a business here. Thanks, Brick. That was... enlightening. Let's go. Let's Delta. Right, I'm out. Rick seems all right. Sure. Just too bad he doesn't know squat about music. That's what you wanted to talk to him about? Yeah. Tinnitus. The Totentad sound. What I got out of Brick was scop. Slow in this dump. Cars outside. So what? Giving up on your story? I won't learn anything about Maelstrom's music? Got lots of footage. Need to look through it, see what I can patch together. Come on. Fuck. Just hope the car's still where I parked it. Brick was the safe option. Really should have talked to the asses from tinnitus. You got some sort of in with them? Brick invited me to one of their gigs. Problem is the lineup. Changes every time. got a souvenir. Fuck souvenirs. I'm headed straight back to the editing room. Wanna talk? Gotta come with me. Cogger like this. Hope it gets us there in one piece. All right. So what's Carrie want? Wants to bring back samurai. One gig, one night. There is no samurai without Silverhand. I'll play for Johnny. <laughs> you. Let's just say Silverhand was more visionary than musician. You got this. Trust me. Well, if you got Carrie on board, what's in it for me? <laughs> it's for you and Carrie to figure out. I'll be sure to ask him. How do you know Brick? Saved his life once. Well, well. Ever thought about joining Trauma Team? We're here. Hop out. All right, so the concert? 
Tell Carrie I'll put it together. Be in touch. Okay, thanks. Went pretty damn well. Now call Carrie. <laughs> Hey, so how'd it go? Talk to Nance? Yep, she agreed. Even said she'd organize the gig. Still a control freak. Awesome. Managed to contact Henry or Denny? Just Henry so far. Dragged him out of rehab. Great story, actually. Henry didn't know Denny's been in Night City all this time. On his way over to see her now. Gonna be a surprise. We're all gonna meet over at Denny's. What, me too? Why? You can't play with us, aren't you? you? Gotta meet the others. Send you the address. In here. She must have been renovating. Henry must have borrowed the truck. Gonk always was good at improvising. Maybe they're home. Try the intercom. Right then. Guess we keep looking. Be Henry surprise? Fool? Yeah, I obviously You're gonna missed pay a few for this, you piece of shit. Looks like he was holding You bet I will. So he so flooded the pool again. with concrete. Maybe Henry then did you'll often tell me why emotional. the hell you left me to die in the street. Know what happened left between them? You to die? From what I've come to understand, oh, I wish one you day, would fucking Henry die. disappear without a word. Then hit why am I, even standing I imagine that wasn't too hard in his state Get of mind, the fuck either out. out of it or in rehab. What yep. now? Already? That is, 
no till I grand tour. gave Henry her address. Introduce me to the fam. What about the concert? I haven't Go gotten a chance to ask death. Benny yet. Doesn't look good, though. I kid you not. V, talk I'm to them. Carrie will just make off. it worse. <sighs> Not really oh, my biz. What? Go, go. They don't don't get past it in a sec. Carrie didn't piss what? all over himself that I lost out of joy when he saw me out. Bag like you. Yeah? <laughs> Fuck. Is that how you remember it? This your backup? In case you forgot why the hell you came here in the first place? Carrie sent me. About the concert. What concert? Why isn't he here talking to me? Look, it's awkward. Carrie considers you both friends. What a sensitive guy. Shit. Given he's the one who set this flaming turd bag on my doorstep. We're bringing back Samurai. One night only. That's what he wants to get the crew together for? Sweet. But no fucking way. Not about to play with this shit stain. Danny. No. No way. Either him or me. Choose. Then he digs in her heels. We're done. How's it going? Like shit, man. Danny wants me out of the gig. And we already agreed on everything. What? Carrie's paying you? That's what this is about? Fuck. It's all fucking great. So you get him away from me and get the fuck off my lawn. Don't make me choose. Pretty sure it's your call. Fuck really pisses me off. Denny's on a control kick, setting conditions. On the other hand, Henry's got scop for brains. Can't trust him. Thanks. Real helpful. You out of your fucking mind with the pool? You knew Carrie wanted to get Denny to play with us. Just wanted to clear the air. Fucking Bream. Maybe if someone had tell me what happened... Are you blind? Fucker filled my pool with cement. Maybe he had a good reason. Really? A reason? You out of your fucking mind with the pool? Gotta go without one or the other. Uh, yeah, not a problem. Should be able to borrow someone else for one gig. Won't be the same, though. It won't ever be the same, Carrie. Now what? <sighs> if we gotta choose, let's play with Denny. Fuck, Carrie! Seriously? She's the one making a big deal out of this, not me! Listen, I'll get you- You know what, Carrie? Fuck you! Good thing Silverhand isn't here to see this. You done? Get out. All right, what about Nancy? We make contact. She's gonna set it all up and let us know. See you at the show. Fuck. Now I gotta find someone to clean this up. Okay, about all we can do for now. Except wait for Nancy to call. Everything okay? No. Just the sight of that douche wad reminded me how not okay it is. Don't worry, though. I'll be past it by showtime. Wonder what Henry did to her. So his fault after all. Well, normally, Denny's not a raging bitch. Well, pretty sure she knew Henry wanted this concert. Hmm. Doubt she really gave a fuck about the pool. Sorry it played out like that.
Hey, gigs all set up super sweet like. Tonight, at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie? Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. Haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? <sighs> Didn't even try. Not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. To just whisper Mikoshi in her ear, we'll be all set. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. Got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. And what happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me. Partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heart. What'd you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How are you feeling ahead of the show? 
weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but damn well do. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Kerry couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. <laughs> Worse. At least Kerry did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Kerry? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly, got no idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big nut. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? Have fun. Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed of them. She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. But get that shake under control. I think my shake's the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, Rizzy. Fuck you. And missed you too. All right. Let's do this. Die. This is selfish. The 
actually uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove to myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Want to do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it as a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here, but I still plan on playing. Still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Helloprene. <laughs> Samurai's found its new groove. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. You can still come to my show. No, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And earlier... And... Never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work, then. Take care, V. I'll be in touch. V, how are you feeling? I can't believe that asshole Carrie just up and left you like this. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. Hope that's it for last requests. Not sure I can handle anymore. It is, and I'm starting to regret you agreed to this concert thing. <gasps> Here I thought I'd hear. Thank you, V. Said it was important to you. This thing with Carrie. It was. But not more important than you. Carrie's got his life back. Whereas we should be worrying about how to get yours back. Let's go. It was fine. Great. Axe went out of tune after the chip and Don't worry. He needed the base anyway. You were great. Oh, first time I ever heard that at a gig. Thanks. You were great. Oh, first time I ever heard that at a gig. Thanks. Have a good time. Hell yeah, Carrie even said I'm gonna see some Eddie. 